You guys already know, Funky Friday is finally updated after over one month of no updates. Hopefully you guys are excited about it. Let's, let's check out this welcome board sign. It's so tall. I haven't seen it this tall in ages. Make sure you smash the like and subscribe. We are going to go over the whole update, so let's get right into it. Of course, we gotta check out all the new animations. We got seven in total in this update. First, starting off with the GSU animation for 500 points. This is what this animation is going to look like on idle. You're kind of like hovering around with your hand over your hip, left, down, up, and then right as well. Hey, man, it's not too bad at all. I kind of like that one. Here we go. I mean, honestly, it is gonna be the most basic animation from the update, but for 500 points, you can't go wrong with it. Our next animation is going to be the Ace animation for 550 points. This is also how this animation is going to look like as well on idle, left, down, up, and then right as well. I kind of like the poses with that, though it kind of makes my arms a little weird in some poses, but here we go, some gameplay. Very interesting animation, especially with the placements of the arms and shoulders. I don't know how I feel about that one, to be honest. Next up, we do got the spring trap animation as well, made by Fiber once again. 550 points. This is what the spring trap animation is going to look like on idle, left, down, up, and then right as well. Another pretty cool one right here. Here we go, man. Let's see how it looks like with some gameplay. I do like the movements on that one, it's a lot more smoother compared to the previous animation. 550 points, again, not bad. We also do have the Cold Steel animation for 650 points. It's not labeled as new, so make sure you definitely check this one out too. This is what that animation looks like on idle, left, down, up, and then right as well. Looks pretty cool, here we go. For 650 points, you can't really go wrong with this animation too. Moving on with the train, ATT303. It's gonna cost you 700 points, a collaboration animation. This is how this one looks like on idle. You're gonna be spinning around. Does that look like a hatchet or something? That's actually pretty cool. Left, down, up, and then right as well. Very interesting, I like that. Definitely looks like a Minecraft inspired animation, especially with the 8-bit physics going on with that. I think that's like an axe or something that he's holding. I'm not really sure what it is to be honest. Next up, we do got the Matt Pat animation. This one's also going to cost you 850 points. This is what this animation looks like on idle. You got your hand on your chin, left, down, up, and then right as well. I like the faces on that one. <laughs> Yo, I think they're actually trying to experiment with face decals on animations. I'd love to see more of that on Funky Friday. That's gonna be really cool. And then, of course, we do got the Chica animation for 950 points. And this is how this one looks like on idle. You're holding like a little cupcake. That looks like a Goomba from Mario. Left, down, up, and then right as well. There you go, man. Here we go. Very nice animation. I mean, the cupcake's very iconic, especially for Chica as well. So for any of you FNAF fans out there, this animation's for you. As for new map backgrounds, we got four new ones in this update. First, starting off with Garcelo's alleyway. Here we can see a little bit of a chart leak by Aussie. It says man. It's pretty interesting. Obviously, you do got the Among Us imposter too. But yeah, this looks like a really cool, faithful remake to the mod, especially for the alleyway as well. They did a really great job with this one, which is really nice. Next up, we also do have the Majin 
forest map as well. I'm not sure if you guys say it Majin or Majin. Hopefully I'm saying it right. But we do have a couple people dancing from the forest, like behind the trees over there too, which looks pretty cool. And if we do zoom out a little bit, we can see that it has a little bit of a sphere kind of look to it, which is really cool, man. Another great background. Here we got the pizzeria hallway map as well. This one's definitely a Five Nights at Freddy's inspired background too. Dude, it kind of looks very scary, especially with like the fog that you can see through the walls too. Of course, you got a decal of a rubber ducky, a teddy bear, and also an anime character, I guess. But yeah, this one does a really great job capturing the spirit of FNAF once again, which is really cool. And then this last one is going to be the private room map as well. What the heck's going on with the screen though? We got massive scan lines going on just like from a retro TV or something. It's actually really hard to see the map to be honest. But yeah, they did do quite a bit of modeling in this map background as well. But once again, they really should reduce on the scan line effect though. It's a little too punchy. Also, we can't forget about the new arrows. We did get these pretty cool blocks and arrows which are pretty nice. We did also get the 3D arrows from the Dave and Bambi mod as well and Excellent. also these divided by zero arrows too which are pretty interesting now of course we gotta talk about the new boss game modes that's like the big talk around town if you guys went over to this orange portal over here you okay. are gonna see the stage over here that says ready on top of it if you go inside this little portal right here it's going to start a boss battle in 30 seconds and of course you can see here you can have up to eight people now how it works is if you have more than eight people you each have a number that corresponds to the person who got into the square at that time and you can have up to eight people against the boss effectively forming a co-op boss battle against the anim dude Lego also says that right now it's just a cue pad for eight players and everyone gets assigned a number and if you don't get on it you'll end up being able to move up in line now these boss battles are going to be getting you some pretty cool rewards we did talk about that in the previous video if you gain at least a 50% accuracy you are going to be getting a new microphone skin one out of two that you can possibly win so make sure you get above 50 percent on accuracy and you're definitely going to be able to get those rewards and also along with that a lot of you guys were wondering what this little icon in the top left corner was it's actually going to be an avatar editor we did go over this in the previous video as well but this time it's actually working which is pretty nice but you can also head over towards the tam shop over here and if you go talk to tam brush over here you're gonna be able to then again bring up the avatar editor right there as well this pretty much makes it a lot more easier to dress up as your favorite cosplayers in Ro in funky friday without having to leave the game and go to roblox in order to customize your avatars but yeah that's definitely gonna be all of the new features we're gonna go to some public servers and try out some mods all right here we go boys we're gonna give our shot at the boss battle try to get 50 percent accuracy get one of the awesome new reward arrow skins here we go man we meet again and I'm dude Scott Coffin <laughs> This time we got like four against one though So it's gonna be a lot more easier than just doing it 1v1 earlier now We did first against the boss battle on the previous video So I'm not gonna be playing like the whole boss battle once again on this one You guys can check out the previous one, but I really do wish that they add in even more boss battles in the future. Like, I feel like that's going to be really cool. Imagine if you're going up against a giant Tricky, for example, and they end up getting a really cool microphone skin that has a Tricky animation on it. Like, I feel like that would be really cool, man. I mean, they have a lot of possibilities when it comes to these boss battles in the future. It's going to be awesome to see. Okay, here we go. Not too bad at all. Though, I'm pretty sure you can only play the boss battle on the hardest difficulty. There's no medium, there's no easy difficulty. You can only play on the hard difficulty, so hopefully you guys got the skills for it. That means practice up if you need to. Man, dude, we gotta step up our game right here, boys. We're still down by a couple thousand points. I thought we'd be, I thought we're gonna be able to beat this boss pretty easily, but I guess not, man. Oh my gosh, it's a lot harder than it looks, though, to be honest. Bro, we might actually lose this. We're gonna keep trying until we actually win it. I want I really want to get at least one of the microphone skins to show off to you guys. Huh? Oh, okay, never mind. I guess you still get a microphone skin even if you lose against the boss. So you have defeated the Anim dude, your boss rewards, you got a 2.5% chance of getting the empowered Anim mic and a 97.5% of getting the regular one. Yo, there's gonna be a lot of people grinding for that 2.5% one, I tell you that much. Yo, check out this camera angle right here. I guess it works with any FNAF song or something like that, but here we go boys, walk the plank. You guys already know, we're a pirate, 
we gotta be playing the pirate song, especially for Five Nights at Freddy's, right? This is gonna be pretty insane right here, ladies and gentlemen, but here we go, man. I'm already digging the camera mechanic, though. That's very unique. Who, who the heck is over there on top of the speakers, though? Is that Albert? That's freaking sus right there, bro. I'm not gonna lie about that, but hey, man. A lot of you guys have been really excited, especially for Five Nights at Freddy's, but here we go. We finally got it in Funky Friday. Not just that, we also got, like, Freddy's at, you know, Funkin' at Freddy's, too, which is pretty cool. Like, a lot of you guys have been asking for that one as well, man. It's pretty nice to represent the Five Nights at Freddy's fans out there, which is really cool. I do like this one, too. I do like the beat on this one, too. It's very interesting. Now, I haven't got a chance to play the mod yet because it's, like, so... I've been so busy with everything else, but I am going to say... That it is a joy to play. I mean, this song's not that difficult. We still got a full combo at the moment, which is pretty lit. But hey, man. Every song has their own difficulties. Dude, my opponent's got to step up the game, bro. I haven't gotten one single miss so far, man. I mean, I might have, like, gotten a couple of okays and goods, but I haven't gotten a single miss so far. Hopefully, I don't jinx it. But meanwhile, my opponent's got, like, ten misses and counting, bro. You gotta step up your game, son. Oh, man. Yeah, there you go. That was pretty nice. I kind of like that one, too. Now, for those who don't know, the Cappy mod has a very exclusive song called Catnip. Make sure you guys check this one out. It's going to be pretty lit. Okay. This one definitely it's a lot different compared to most of the other songs from the mod 100% right from the get-go, too, which is pretty nice. Here we go. Oh, listen to that dub spit, that dub step in the background, man. That definitely hits so much different compared to, like, most of the other songs in the mod, bro. Like, make sure you rate the song in the comments down below, man. Like, this intro is pretty insane, man. Here we go. I'll actually just be quiet so you guys can take a listen to it, too, man. It's that bussin'. Oh, my God. Like, honestly, bro, it's that bussin', man. You just gotta, like... Take a listen to it, just like chill and relax. Honestly, it's just one of those songs, man. You just, you just vibe out. You just honestly vibe out to it while you're playing it, man. It's enjoyable. Here you go. It's getting harder in this part right here. Here we go. Let's see what we got. Very nice to see that Cappy mod trying to switch up a little bit between classic and also going with like dubstepy and kind of like futuristic songs too, or like modern day songs to say, rather the least. Sounds really nice. And it's always good to see mods and like certain other song genres just trying to switch things up once in a while too. Pretty close so far. I wonder who's gonna be able to, who's gonna get the W right here, man. It's getting pretty down to the wire right here. But we do got a 20,000 point lead, so yeah, there you go. We end up getting the W, but hey, that was a really great song. I like that. Okay. I was not expecting those beginning notes right there, but we are gonna be playing. The what? The clandestine Diddy song from the Rough Night Masses mod. I've never heard of the song before. Even this mod too. But hey man, Mid Midfight Masses is definitely one of the most popular FNF mods out there. So it's pretty cool to see a ton of these fan made and also official mods being made apart from the story too. But I'm pretty sure Rough Night Masses, I'm pretty sure that has something definitely to do with Rough and also with uh... Sarventi as well, which is pretty cool, man. You you already know they are together So they're definitely gonna be making some mods and some songs with them But this one this definitely sounds pretty cool so far. I kind of like it. Oh my god Some of the instrumentals in the background this one definitely def It just gives you some good old vibes from like the 90s for some reason, man Like I haven't heard that instrumental. <laughs> it's like a long time, bro. Oh my gosh, bro Some 90s vibes in here, 100% All right, here we go. Here we go Easy peasy I freaking love their charting, man. Oh my gosh. Everyone's charting, man. That's great. That's great. Another bass baseline in here, boys. Oh. Let's hear a baseline in the comment section. Oh my gosh, dude. We also got a Sonic fan over here, too, man. No, yeah, this one's definitely a great banger, though. 100%, man. I would love to see even more mid fight masses mods like this in the future, man. Like, especially if they came out with another update with even more of these types of songs, dude. Like, the baseline. Honestly is the best part of the song dude like especially whenever Roof goes and talks in the song hearing his baseline hit notes is just amazing dude honestly I mean check us out right here 
We have 460 feet combo at the moment. We're up by a couple thousand points as well. Everything is all good in the hood for Captain Jack Tech and also I guess uh, they're fighting over a painting. That's pretty funny. But yeah guys, that's gonna do it for this update video. Make sure you smash the like and subscribe. We do cover every single update in Funky Friday. Even if they don't update in over a month, we still cover them. Make sure you start code attack with buying Robux and Premium. We'll see you all on the next one.